Okay, it looks like it's going to be my chest day of taking a bit of a kicking. <laughs> Let's just um, develop as we're going through here. So this player is playing real quick. Just bring the bishop out and they've gone and castled. So it looks like they don't want this game to last too long. So maybe we should try and prevent it from not Ooh, let's uh, see what we've got here. And now it's slowed down. Nice gentle pace. I mean, like the last game, really. We could have just sat back and went for the draw, but we got a little bit greedy with the king and trapped our own king. So you have to laugh and take responsibility for those types of situations. It's all good. It does help your chess game. Because you just have to play. Simple as that. You can do all the reading and practicing doing tactics and that type of stuff, but you just got to play the game. Win, lose or draw, but it's the way you lose. Sometimes you have to query it based on your own experience. Um, that last game was definitely, you know, my own fault. You know, I'll take that on the chin. It's no problems. Um, previous, previous game, a little bit of a question mark. So not taking that on the chin really. But you have to live with what you've got at the minute. So a smaller piece attacking a higher piece. I don't, is he going for this? Don't think so. He's not doing that. He's a 1700. Knight comes back, what do we got? Nothing, because this pawn is doing a lovely job blocking that area. Have a touch here, but this pawn will go because the queen's on it. It's a little bit scrappy. It's all locked down. We want to try and open that up, maybe get some of this situation going on. Okay, so if we do push here, he's got the queen, got the knight. Got the knight protecting currently on there so i'm going to push onto the pawn and see what happens here we need to do something with this center get this unblocked i think or we lock it down maybe they don't take and push but i think they probably would do so from the frantic start now we've gone to um nice slow mode it is a 10 second increment so again Really, you're not going to lose on time. It's going to be about position on the board, really. Okay, so it's come supporting. I want to devastate the centre. He's feeling fairly confident with his queen here. Boom, boom, boom. It's the element of the push. Takes. No, let's just take the pawn. Simplify. Knight takes. Oh, the knight takes. Okay, let's take. That feels a bit better. I could move the king out of the way to start activating. Uh, could push, like we said, takes knights on the queen. But it is also on the pawn. Queen is a little bit airy, so we could maybe get it up attacking the pawn. Yep, maybe looks right to me. Let's do that. Queen, queen. Could look to go for a queen exchange, couldn't he? Pawns in the center, knight has to move, and it, oh, and he wins that pawn. Interesting times. So I don't need to take, I could just take there, but there, and I'm on his rook, so he has to think. It's not a winning position, I think I might be losing this pawn. Hmm. But as usual, they don't do what I want to do. See, I, I just enjoy playing the game of chess. And 
when I get this far in these games like this, I'm playing like a 1700, you know what I mean? That's um, that's high, you know, in my eyes. So we can take this pawn here, but are we... Obviously, the rook is going to come out, isn't it, to attack the queen? Because it's going to get a 2 on 1 on the pawn. So we're not necessarily winning anything per se. Because he gets it back. Got the cheapy but the bishop's not at the right position i think we're going to take the pawn we could do this because the queen doesn't have any protection on it because if the pawn took you know with a knee-jerk reaction we'd be able to take so you you would think that the knight would take it And if we take with the pawn, pawn's not going to take because again, queen's got no protection. But they might not do anything like that. They may just move the queen out of the way and attack the queen. So then we can take the knight because we've got to check on the king. Maybe the queen takes and then maybe we take that. There's a lot of maybes in that, isn't there? Attack on the king. I do like the look of it. Pawn tears. Yeah, I do like the look of that. I don't think it gives us too much trouble. It might give us maybe an advantage or not. Maybe not an advantage, but it dishevels them a bit. You gotta try these things out. It looks nice, feels nice. So they do take. What did I say? The pawns taking. If they just really think that the bishop is protecting the queen or something, then we've got it. But it looks like they're taking the time. So no, we're not getting away with them apples. So he's reversed it in a sense. But I believe if the rook comes here, then we. He's going to just bring his rook onto ours, isn't he? Let's just do that anyway. So that, that wasn't in my calculation at all. We might just go for a piece for a piece situation. It's equal at the minute. It's all about fighting for these pawns. Who's going to win out? Uh, <laughs> No, I don't know. Does he go? Oh, he's come back. So the pawn can take, but he's actually still protecting as well. So it's going to be even exchange. We can take here. So once we take, maybe his queen comes up instead. Actually, he's on our pawn as well. He's also going to be then on our bishop. Why? <sighs> I don't know about this. I'm going to take. And his queen is protecting this pawn. If he does take, then we can take and we're protecting our bishop. But that's not, it's very flaky because his rook can come and put a check on, on the queen. Oh dear. Well, looks like the move order might have been slightly wrong. We're plus one for a moment, but the bishop can simply take. And we can't take here, so just get the bishop in a better position. Attacking the bishop and also attacking the rook. Then the bishop just takes the bishop and doubles our pawns. Yeah, okay. Oh, and then the queen takes the pawn. Ouch! But then if the queen takes the pawn, we can take their pawn. Alright. Something along them lines. Queen's on the white square, make sure that that's... Mm. On this pawn as well. I don't think that's going to. Takes, takes, queen takes. Or intermediate take. No, he's doing the take. Doing the take. 
Got a choice of three pawns as the queen. One, two, and three. I think he's going to protect this pawn first before he goes for one of the pawns. Oh, yes, so we're going to be down. Maybe the queen comes back and stops all that nonsense, but depends on what they do next. If the rook comes to protect, then we can come down from... Okay, he's not doing that. He's just going for mass annihilation. So we could go with the rook attacking here, couldn't we? Blocking off, taking any more pawns. I think I'm going to have to do that. He's going to save his pawn. He's still going to be a plus one. So his queen's just going to come back and defend. Then our rook comes here, but then he brings his rook into the game. So we're not getting that pawn back. Oh. Fancy dancy. Because we're tending to get into these sort of positions, you know, when we're... What's... What's... Whoa, what, what, what? He's attacking the pawn. Oh, he's still defending the pawn. He's going for a defense of the pawn. Rook can come here, but then he takes this pawn, so it's always going to be a pawn up. Okay. Let's go with that. We're near his king area. Maybe that's a blessing. Take with the rook or the queen. I think we're probably lucky to take with the rook because his rook's just going to come face us off. Anyway, it's going to come face us off no matter what, isn't it? Maybe not with this one because this one's protecting that pawn, but this one. Yeah, okay. This is going to hurt. This is going to hurt this game. Yeah, so getting to these sort of positions like this, it's a, to me, it's like a massive achievement. Yeah. Yes, I'm a pawn down, but sometimes I'm a pawn up, you know, as well. Or sometimes I'm a material up, and sometimes I'm material down. But in order to develop my game, this these types of games need to be done. These are like, I class these as like my training games, you know. You have to have some type of training game. Um, the expectation is that, oh, you have to win every game. You've got to win, you've got to win. If you can't win, then you can't win. But the practice that you have in the games should help you develop going forward. That's the way I look at it. So I just keep playing games. Uh, today I've got a ream of games I've, I've got to get through as part of my training. If I'm not playing the games, then I'm just studying and that is it. I need to try and apply the study into the games. So that's what all these recent series have been about, really. It's about trying to apply the study, trying to apply the knowledge outside of chess as well, about the skills, skill level of people that you're playing against, and looking at what is actually happening on the board. Is it real? Is it realistic? You know, um, and accepting that, at the end of the day, certain things do happen within playing chess, especially online. So once you accept that, you can learn to enjoy the games even more. But for me, it's just basically letting people know I'm not a fool. I'm not an idiot. Yeah. Um, so I appreciate when people are playing true and honest, and I don't appreciate when people are not playing true and honest. Because I can't practice my game properly. I can't put put my study into play properly you know if there's disadvantages right from the start so they've gone into a long think here but they are plus one so we have to be mindful of the fact uh, we know definitely this rook is coming here it's got to put pressure on the queen so what do we do from there we want to fashion something somehow I don't think we're going here though because Back rank is not going to work, he's got too many, but we could bring this rook here, so then it potentially gives them something to think about. But the queen is going to be the head of the snake, so realistically, it's not going to work. We said that that was coming, didn't we? I <laughs> so, don't know why that took so long to come into play. So we could come here, but then the rook could come and face off. But if the rook comes and faces off, we can take with a check, and then it would be a back rank checkmate. So that would be a concern for the opponent. So I'm going to swing it here just in case they maybe don't know about it. 
but at 1700 you would kind of think that they would and obviously they'll be making a space here and like I said the queen is the head of the you know the chain which is a bit bad for us so it's not going to work out as best as possible I'm hoping they don't move it, then we can go for the back ranker. Boom, so it'd be like one. Rook takes. Oh no, no, we won't win because we need to get this one behind first. Yeah, we need to get this one behind first, and I don't think they're going to just sit there and let us put this rook behind here and get a reverse out of Kain's gun going for a back rank checkmate. would be ideal if they went oh I'm gonna go and get my own back ranker then obviously that would be straight in but that is not happening today is it oh. so I'll be playing a few more games later on today and um, this will be the last one for this morning because it's now coming up to um, dinner time do some exercises oh, yeah. there's a funky yawn I gave my face goosebumps <laughs> Hoping he's going greedy munching for a pawn. After that long think. So if the queen goes and takes, then we definitely got the back cranker. But I think now that they might have realised, this queen's not got a check on me, is it? I'm not sure. Or oh, it just brings his rook back again, I suppose, maybe. There's options. So if they do that, we can't really go for the back rank. Oh, he's brought he's brought the queen back. Oh, is there something then that we can do? I've got twelve minutes here. Oh, I didn't think that was happening actually. They've gone fully back, they're plus one, but they've gone fully back with their pieces. Hmm. Rook here. Attacking the queen. Queen can take this pawn. Does that, that messes us up a bit, doesn't it? Because then he can dance in front of our... Uh, I can't bring the rook here because his queen has got this diagonal. We attack the queen. Boom, he takes the pawn because the Alakine, reverse Alakine gun's gone. So we're not going to go queen, queen. He's going to win another pawn. Rook is here. Bring this rook up. This rook up, he puts a check on. We could keep on putting checks on all the way through, couldn't he? Move. Uh, da, 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 da. So it comes back, puts a check on, we go here. We can keep putting checks, or you can come across here and put a check as well. <laughs> Maybe not because the rook will be there, wouldn't it? Interesting situation. Queen down, rook takes, rook takes, queen takes, rook takes, blah, blah, blah. Nah, definitely doesn't work. Queen down, rook takes, rook takes, queen takes, rook takes, and then the rook takes. So it definitely doesn't work. I know that it doesn't work. But 
I'm hoping and wishing Queen could attack there, Queen. And just play with the pawn down. But then we can still go and attack the pawn, can't we? What am I doing? Maybe the Queen comes here to defend the pawn, but also attack this pawn. And then the rook is in the lead. What can he do? His, his rook can come down and attack, can't it? Attack this pawn. If they do that, rook can come here. We'll put pressure on here. I think the Queen's coming back here. Is that right? I think it's coming back here. It's putting pressure on here. It's protecting this pawn. Getting closer to their king to try and squish. It's the kind of answer process, isn't it? Up to a point. This is blocking that attempt off. Now this rook is in the lead. So like we said, now we can put that in the lead. Or do we have to even move that? Uh, I was thinking of just moving the... Maybe attack the queen. Takes them pawns linked up to itself. You know, this pawn here. Is that too much? Is it too much? Is it too much? It takes, takes, and then the rook comes down and attacks this pawn. So then we have to defend. But then if he does that, we're going to go here. Then his rook takes. Rook takes with a check. Then we can come back down here, attack the rook. Hmm. Yeah, something like that. I'm going to attack the queen. He doesn't have to take, obviously. But we are facing his king, so maybe there might be an issue. No, not really. <laughs> not really. So putting your own thought process into into your games, and that's the, the whole ideal situation. Um, oh, it's not exchanged. It's not exchanged. It's not, it's not exchanged. Where did we, where's he going? I could come here and attack the queen. Now that the rook is in the head, so then we could put the check on. I think he's guarding this area isn't it? let's attack it again and also potential if he doesn't take but do we go with the rook or do we take with this rook I think we take with the top rook don't we because this rook is just going to put a check on us oh what do we steady on Oh, why are the games so tense, eh? Cracky. Do I think they'll take this time? I think they will. They are plus one. Maybe they should be thinking, well, they're, they're in an advantageous position. Although they haven't taken on this occasion because he didn't want to link our pawns up, I'm assuming. So now in this position, it's probably easier for them to take. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh. There's no flagging in these games, it's 10 second increment. So you have to just keep fighting for some type of position.
Mm-hmm. That might be okay. Okay, so we're in the position that we kind of thought might happen. We could attack the pawn here. He comes down and attacks ours. We can bring our rook down here anyway. So he can easily just drop the pawn. Do we just leave it so we're not elevating it for them? Give them something to think about. No, because that's uh, probably just bringing his king here. So we'll just come back down. We'll come back to here. Yeah. Okay. So we'll come back down. Now, basically, they've got the majority on this side. So if we just focus on getting the king up, if we can. So yet again, we're in one of these tight positions, end game type stuff. Um, okay, so they're pushing forcefully. Let's see what we want to do. If the pawn pushes onto our rook. Only issue I have with this is that if we push right up here, his rook is just waiting to come here. And we don't have a piece that can defend it apart from our rook sitting in here like this. And he's pushing here, well, maybe not. Our rook's sitting in there. Mm. Come up with the pawn, he still pushes down. Are we going to have time with our king? Yeah, so we go here. Rook comes down, attacks, rook comes across. King comes down, king comes up. King can block this pawn. Can block the king. Yes, it doesn't look a very nice position really, does it? Looks a little bit jammed in. Rook's not got any play, it's just stuck there. And the king won't get to this spot. So if we move the king first and then the pawn move down. We could slide across. I think I'm moving the king because it looks like he's, it feels like his king is going to come and win the story here. It's not doing that. Okay. Oh, but the other pawn is going to come down. At least the king isn't coming down. So this is probably looking to champion here because of the pawn majority. And it has done. So we could move the king up, couldn't we? It's a physical possibility we could. This rook comes down, but it's not going to do that. I think it'll take. King takes. Then the rook comes down, putting a check on the king. He might not do any of that, might he? Let's go here. a thinker I mean secretly I like these sort of games you know these end game type things whether I win them or not you know it's um it's all practice and it, they do stick in my head you know especially like you know the king maneuver that I did where potentially what could have been a draw so he's actually brought the rook down like we said so we could take it's linking up the pawn here Ooh, but no if we did yeah, it's got a check on his king, so it can do that. Then he moves. Then we have to move across, don't we? Because he's been looking to push the pawn down onto 
working in the group. Save anything else. I think I just have to take it, don't I? Take with the check. And this pawn is wanting to just jump down onto the rook and the queen. So we could move the rook out the way. Or could move the king across. Move the king across. Maybe he's, I don't think he's going to do that, but you never know. The rook comes here. In fact, the rook can just come. Oh, well, not there because it gets taken. Some magical move, rook coming across. He still comes down with a check on the king. King goes up. Uh, not happy, not happy, not happy. Let's see, he goes here. Attacks the rook. Where's that damn king? Where's he going? He wants this file, doesn't he, to come down here. And if I move the rook, then he's going to get space to come down. That's what I'm thinking, anyway. So if we move the king, he can still attack the rook. Can I retain it, like we said? I'm going to have to move the rook anyway. Hmm. I'm going to have to move the rook anyway after all that, I think. Mm hmm. Still doing this, obviously, because it's a check. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I don't think there's any point in pushing up because it just. Yeah, it's always wanted the queen to king to come there. Hmm. So we can put a check, then it can come here. If it goes there, I'm just going to get this pawn is going to get taken off the board, isn't it? If it goes there, because there's no point jumping up here. Because he just jumps down, puts a check on the king. King drops down, he takes the pawn, so I'm not going to get that pawn. Ooh, a bit tight. I think this one's done. I can't think of anything else, I mean, apart from moving the king here, but it's just going to touch me up there. Or, rather, sorry, the rook just touches me up. <clears throat> Let's move, <coughs> see what they do. Tiny details, they've got the majority, which is causing us a little bit of problems. Rook, bang, where do we go? Do we come back here, protecting the pawn? Then he comes and attacks our rook. Mmm, it's all about this king. He's just going to cause problems. So if he does attack the rook, we can come here and attack the pawn, but then... His rook has the... What? No, 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 no. See, they don't do anything that I say. Nothing. So if we go running here, which is what they're probably expecting, what happens? 
Do they go for the check? Do I lose the rook somehow? Just move it anyway. I don't. Or does he? Do I lose that rook somehow? Mm. He comes across. It's still that same position again, though, isn't it? I can't go. Oh, what is happening? He's not going for a draw. He's got a pawn up. I'm falling into something. I can feel it in the water. Take. He takes. King comes behind the pawn. In front of the pawn. He's king go. Oh, no. He's, is that a Zugs one? No, it's not, is it? So he zook swung that. Has he zook swung himself? Take. Pawn takes. Kin moves. Well, takes. No, moves, not takes. So then he has to make a move. So his king. Oh, his king can just move to the side, can't it? Still protecting the pawn. And no, I'm zook swung. I'm Zugzwang if I take, take, there, there, king moves to the side, and whatever move I make is a bad move, because I can't go in front of his pawn, I can't go here, so I have to go backwards, and that's when his king can just come and take all the pieces off the board, so that's a Zugzwang position, that's not good for me. Oh dear, horrible, <laughs> horrible. I thought I had it for a second there. I thought, oh, but no. Yeah. So I could resign, but I just want to see how they finish it off. Um, I will resign once I know it's clear. And the rin. Oh, what the days. He's not going for a draw. I can't see that happening. He's doing a few moves and then he's doing something to change the situation yeah look um, ba -ba -ba -ba. yeah this isn't working because this is back to that situation again and then his rook just comes down takes the he's got to check on my king my king has to go down <clears throat> yeah gave me a glimmer of hope <laughs> ah Come across. Then he's oh, but then even worse, isn't it? He just drops. He's waiting to just drop his rook so that then I have to take because of the check on the king. So either way, looks like it's done. Very clever. Fifty nine seconds. So my king has to drop somewhere, maybe in here something, and the rook just takes the pawns off the board. And they're home free. I cannot do anything to stop anything now. It looks like it's all sewn up. Ah. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Well, realistically, he doesn't need to be concerned about these pawns. He just needs to come and take this pawn off the board. He's got two linked pawns. I would have got one measly pawn. They'll get down there faster, won't they? Yeah, so if he came across to attack that, I take this pawn. He takes that. And then I try and push this up. He's, he's going to have to move his rook out of the way. So then we push. Then they push. They've only got like three squares in front of the well, one. Two, three, four. Oh, we will have one, two, three, four. 
think they might win out, obviously. Could do a count now, but again, I'll be wasting my time because they they're not doing the moves I'm saying anyway. Um, that's one, two, Ooh, three with a check. Oh, he's going with the check first. Oh, not actually taking the pawn. Am I in some mating thing here now? Has he mated me? Pawn's going to push down, isn't it? Uh, I think he's got me, hasn't he? Something funky's going on. I don't know why they didn't take, so they must be looking at some sort of mate pattern. Well, not take, but position to actually take the rook on. They've probably done the count and they know what they're doing, obviously, because they're in this winning state at the minute. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why that move was made. His king is in the middle. He's looking to block me off somehow. I can't, can only think he's going to come do this again. But, I mean, if they go here, then it gets rid of our pawn. Ah. Ah, uh, that's probably a good psychological thing. Pushes the pawn, so we take, takes, gets rid of any queen threats that we... Uh, what's the deal? He's doing this again, isn't he? This thing of giving me hope, thinking that I've got potential. When realistically he's fashioning these coming down. Maybe the king comes across and takes rather, I don't know. I don't know what it is that they're planning to do, but in essence, this is what we're looking at, or maybe this even. King's gone. Let's take. <clears throat> so I think they've worked out the fact that this pawn is going to go ramping up and it wins a tempo if it does actually go and attack. That's the only logical reason I can see why the rook's not gone there yet. And the king is making its way up towards attacking our rook. Yeah, because they know this. So I could go and support the pot, the <coughs> the rook, um, or I could move the rook up. Just move the rook up. One. Let's see, I thought I saw something there. So he's going for it now, so this is the moment of truth, is it? I think we're going to lose time though, aren't we? So we've gone one. He takes. We go again. His king goes up for the rook. But that's tempo that we're talking about here. So we're further up the board because his rook's going to have to move out the way. So we will then get three. So we could get a draw <coughs> out of it. It looks like, but I might be wrong. Oh, sh I, I just I saw that as, oh, I can't believe it. I just saw that as I was just about to say, oh, he could come across here. Oh, look at all them pawns on the other side of the board. Oh, that's disgusting. Disgusting. Oh, man. Oh, damn it. Run, run, King. Run, 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 run. You can do it. You can do it. Did it make it? No. Oh, come on. Oh, I can't even go behind it. I can't even go behind it. Oh, that's a damn shame. Oh, that's a damn shame. Can I lock myself in there somehow? There must be some... I can't do it, can I? Right, stop doing all those. 
Oh, so close yet so far. I can't lock myself in. Oh, come on. Still, mate, you. Still, mate. Come on. <clears throat> oh, what's the deal? It's giving me space. It's giving me space, dude. Oh, it's just going to drop down there and it's all done. Oh. Just stay here. Oh, so close. The pain, the pain. I should resign now, really, shouldn't I? It just goes there and then I have to take the pawn or move. Is he waiting for me to resign? No, yes, no. Has he made a move? No. Didn't need to go that far away. Why did he go that far away? Yeah, he's just playing silly boogers now. Okay, let's resign. Well played. Well played. Taking a lovely hit today. So we'll play some more later on in the afternoon.